coming to know God, it didn't happen overnight. I got involved with gangs very early. I was the first chief of the gangster disciples, so I sat on this porch and I sold drugs all day, every day. The community that I grew up in uh, and the, the block that I lived on, all of my friends and everyone that grew up on that block was a part of Gangster the Disciple Nation. We were at war with a rival gang that was just two blocks up the street. So we were always shooting at one another and fighting and stuff. People trying to sneak on our side and we sneaking on their side. But what happened was a church moved at, in the middle of the block. And that church didn't know when they purchased that property that they got in the middle of a crossfire between two gangs. I was 18, 19, something like that. I was getting ready to go to prison for 15 years. That night I talked to God. <laughs> Because at that time, I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know God existed. I felt silly, but I was desperate. And I was I was like, well, I just need you to reveal to me if you're real. If you are, I'll, I'll serve you. I'll leave this gang. I'll go into prison tomorrow and, and not claim this gang. And God had made it so that I did not have to go to prison at all. And I ended up getting community services at a, at that church that moved in our community. I want to help people the way that I was helped. And I know what it's like to be without hope. And many people are living, living fast because they don't expect to live long. That's just how it go around. Being a pastor is about shepherding people, leading people. The term in the Bible for a pastor and the imagery for the pastor is the shepherd and the shepherd leads the sheep. I try to be in the lives of people to help them follow uh, the way God is leading them to go. The work we're doing is so important because all of life is influence. You're gonna be influenced just living. I was influenced in the streets in my younger years, which is one of the reasons why I try to make time for younger people because I know without that guidance in that season of life, uh, anything could happen, things could go wrong. There are young guys that I try to keep away from the street, and there's young guys I try to pull out of the street. If I didn't have him, like, the, uh, for him to be the man that he is, I don't think I would've got through half of the stuff that I went through. So I will say he's one of the greatest mentors I've ever had in like all honesty. And Antonio been through some pretty traumatic things in his life. Uh, for you to be um, on the track that you're in, man, we all proud of. You know, a lot of guys go to the streets, a lot of guys go to the drugs and all of that stuff, and then you've really been through things that could take you there, but you decided not to. I still consider myself, back in those days, a gangster, but I call myself God's gangster and not Satan's gangster. I would go out every day and talk to dudes that I used to lead in the gang about God every day to the point where I, I would come out of the house and start walking down the street. If you see the corner packed, this about 30, 40 people on the corner, but by the time I got to the corner, the whole corner was empty. It said in the Bible, I once was blind, but now I see, like the blind man, I once was a gangster. I once shot people and beat people and stole from people and hurt people. But now, because of Jesus, I'm helped and I'm helping other people. And I think he could do the same for you. to be